everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my NaNoWriMo recap day. So my first two videos, I think I hadn't hit the midpoint. No, I passed the midpoint. I was like at 36k or something, right? Um, and I wrote a bunch and then I took a break over Thanksgiving break. It was really nice. I really needed it for my mental health and I didn't write for four days which was really difficult trying to go back to it on Monday because I was like, what did I even write? I ended up rereading a chapter or two to like get grounded again. And I had like 7,000 words to write in two days, which was doable. I knew where the story was going, but I'd kind of lost motivation. Like taking those breaks might have actually hurt me. <laughs> but um, I powered through and I almost finished the scene um, when I was in my writing session on Tuesday, the last day. And I had like this little bit left. And so I managed to carve out like 30 minutes that night and I finished it. In November, I got 66,000 words and my first draft is done. I'm so excited. I think I won NaNo early in the week of Thanksgiving. I think it was like a Monday or yeah, probably that day. So that was really nice not to worry about either. Um, but I, I also love that I was able to keep remembering things to plug in later. And I think I wrapped up everyone really nicely. And that's one of my favorite things about writing or revising within a month. That's usually my goal anyway. Sometimes it takes me six weeks, but I really don't like to drag it out because if I'm not in it every single day, I lose it or I lose motivation or I forget what I'm doing or especially if I'm reading other books like I did this time too, uh, that voice like will kind of mess me up. And so I love these challenges, these nanos and camp nanos because it's a month that I try to assign myself a draft or a rewrite. And I'm so thankful, I talked about in my other video about that midpoint check-in with my critique partners because I got to revise kind of what I was doing and um, I think it made the story stronger. And so I was able to finish with ideas and I had to pants a lot of it still, but I think it was all still really relevant. I do think I need to go back because this pregnancy this time around, my, my hormones, like everything's been pretty low. And uh, when writing their like romantic subplot, I think I just like left a lot out because I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I need to go back and really kind of beef up, put in more like hints along the way. This was supposed to be a slow burn, but it didn't like burn as slow as I intended, but it actually made it farther. So instead of following um, romancing the beats for part structure. I think it ended up being a normal three act structure. And so it's very close to that. Um, I don't know if in the three act, if it's the climax where everything like falls apart. Um, it was very close to that, that I got them to, and then it just drops. And originally, um, I was floundering because I had that at the midpoint, um, like right after the midpoint. And that was going to be a lot of time in the all is lost <laughs> and so I did rewrite that and I finished out that all is lost in darkest night I think this was supposed to be I think I was doing it by acts wasn't I I think I was updating y'all by act but anyway act three um, I was on pace up till act three with my 70k word count except that act three is notoriously short for me and I think it ended up being like 11,000 something instead of 15 and so that really would have helped me get to 70 but I think it's great as a first draft um, I do know I need to go back in for descriptions internalizations um, I don't think there's too many things I need to like fix plot wise um, just that romantic subplot, but I think all the other subplots are there. Like I really thought of great things in the moment to keep that story going, make it believable, keep working on their arcs and all of that. So I was like super stoked about that. And while I was writing it, I, I got asked to do an arc review for Lease on Love. And it's such a similar situation where this girl moves in with a stranger and starts fresh on her life with her like a new business she's trying to do and so it was so similar that way and it was great because it was another adult book and I needed 
more adult <laughs> examples and so like following that track seeing what I didn't like on that or like what reviewers were even saying about it um, how it focused too much on her business and not so much on the love part but my book incorporates the love interest with the business part and so I think that's going to be really helpful in strengthening all of that and um, now I have a comp title so I'm pretty excited about that but yeah I think that's all I was going to say about Nano um, I was just going to update you guys that I did make it, I did finish my first draft, and I had to take a mental health break, and that it's okay. It is okay if you need to push pause for a, a little bit. I was honestly unsure if I was going to finish it, because when I got back on Monday, I was just like, not feeling it, which I haven't been feeling it for my last two books either. I've gotten to their almost the third act, like both times. One of them, I know I passed the midpoint. And one of them I got to the third act where they're like going to start the fighting. And so like I despaired that that was going to happen again to this book. But thankfully I pushed through and I finished it. I just need to clear my head and be in a better mindset for a romance <laughs> and um, read it in December and make my edit notes and all of that and probably I like to when I read I beef it up along the way and so I'll be doing probably some line edits I'll be adding description internalization and hopefully that romantic subplot and then I'll know note wise what else to go back in and add like right now even after I've been sitting on it for a week or whatever um, I know that they're in the final scene I need to add a few details and then um, somewhere else oh in the beginning I needed to add something about why how she is the way she is like in her love interest knowing it somehow um, and so I know that I need to plug those in but otherwise I don't think there's any like glaring plot holes I think it's all believable enough which is so funny I'm like totally books out that are coming out now I'm like why is she doing this it's not believable and then I'm over here like readers please just believe it and pretend <laughs> like but yeah that was my first official like final draft of or like first draft of an adult book my other adult book I only got a little over halfway so I'm really excited that I finished this one um, I'm like excited about the voice and the personality and the characters and the story and so hopefully I can carry that over I really it's gonna be a tight crunch but I'd really love to get this ready for author mentor match I'm not positive it's gonna be a quick turnaround since that's like January um, but hopefully if there's not that many issues and my critique partners can read it quick enough, maybe I can get it ready in time. Um, but let me know how y'all's nano went. It is officially December now, so I hope that y'all are having a great December and have like things to look forward to this month. I will be having a video coming out soon about my recap and then my 2022 goals. So I hope y'all check that out. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!